How do you get people to stop speeding? That is an answer that we've asked Jeeves and yet still no answer. I live in LA where you see drivers who think they're Dominic Toretto. You know in that movie, Fierce and the Faster, only second best to Tokyo Drift, of course. There's that one epic scene where he and Brian O'Connor are racing to see who can burn gas the fastest to rush through the oncoming train. Well, that except with these LA speed racers, there's no Brian O'Connor, there's no train. It's just Dom blasting through by himself, racing, well, no one. Pretty sad. Aside from the faster and the furry drivers out there, high-speed car chases are also really rampant in LA, as if people were taking GTA role-playing a little too literally in their lives. So I thought, what if LA decided to adopt the speed camera lottery like they did in Sweden? If you never heard of this, it's actually quite interesting. It's one of those things that you hear about on the internet and you actually can't believe that exists. Of course, it was in Europe and I feel like they're always doing some really cool weird things over there. So in Sweden, they installed a speed camera where the lottery was comprised of the fines collected from those who sped above the speed limit. A portion of that would then become, I keep hitting this thing. <laughs> a portion of that would become a lottery prize that a winner would receive. And that winner was of course, someone that obeyed the speed limit. Pretty cool, right? I thought so too. Humans equal love money. Money is the incentive. See, I keep hitting this damn thing again, freaking John Cena. Reminds me of those times when I had a substitute teacher that would give away money to kids. We got about like five to $20 for answering something correctly. He probably received a monetary net loss though for subbing every time. So I wasn't really quite sure what his strategy was, maybe just to make kids happy. Anyway, in Sweden, they wanted to implement the fun theory to see if it would change people's behavior. And they did see a decrease in speeding overall on the roads. Roughly 25,000 cars passed through and the average speed limit was reduced from 32 kilometers. Sorry, fellow Americans, we're working with metric here to about 25 kilometers. One of the winner was reported to win about 20,000 Kroger's. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it was 2000 USD, which is still really decent. Unfortunately though, this was over 10 years ago. Uh, it was short lived. They no longer do this anymore. If you want more information though, Google Sweden speed camera lottery. Oh, and by the way, Tokyo Drift sucks. I just wanted to mess with you guys.